Do women's sexual preferences change after motherhood? What is the impact of the perfect body culture on sexual self-image? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Sexual preferences can change after motherhood due to factors like hormonal changes, fatigue, and shifts in the dynamics of the relationship. Open communication with a partner and adaptation to new circumstances are important for maintaining sexual satisfaction. The perfect body culture can have a negative impact on women's sexual self-image, as it can create unrealistic pressures and expectations. This can lead to insecurity and dissatisfaction with the body, affecting self-esteem and sexual intimacy. Amateur Pornography The rise of the internet has facilitated the production and distribution of amateur pornography, which is often characterized by its authenticity and lack of professional production. Anorgasmia in men Although less commonly discussed than in women, anorgasmia can also affect men, causing difficulties in achieving orgasm during sexual intercourse. Association Between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. In indigenous communities in Australia, sex education may be integrated into the teaching of Aboriginal history and culture, transmitting knowledge about sexuality in a contextualized and respectful manner. Awareness campaigns. Global awareness campaigns are conducted to educate the public about the prevention, detection, and treatment of STDs, aiming to reduce their incidence and mitigate their impact on public health. Biological factors. In addition to psychological factors, there are also biological factors that can influence premature ejaculation, such as hormonal imbalances, glands, hypersensitivity, or neurological problems. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. Breaking with the traditional model. Open relationships challenge the traditional model of monogamous relationships, offering an alternative for those seeking unconventional forms of intimacy and commitment. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. In countries like Canada and Australia, specific sexual education programs have been developed to address the needs of LGBTQ plus youth and promote inclusion and respect for sexual and gender diversity. Cervical orgasm. Some women experience a type of orgasm known as a cervical orgasm derived from stimulation of the uterine cervix. This type of orgasm can be deeper and more expansive. Changes in sexuality with age. Sexuality can change throughout life due to factors such as aging, physical and mental health, and hormonal changes. It is important to adapt to these changes and find new ways to enjoy sexual intimacy. Classical music's effect. It has been observed that classical music, particularly Vivaldi's Autumn, can increase sexual arousal. Scientists believe this is due to the rhythm and structure of the music, which may match the rhythm of sexual activity. Clubs and communities. Online clubs and communities dedicated to the study and practice of the Kama Sutra have been formed, where people can share experiences, tips, and discuss its teachings. Common fetishes. Sexual fetishes are intense desires towards objects, body parts, or specific situations. Some common fetishes include lingerie, feet, leather, latex, uniforms, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism. In some rural communities in West Africa, theatrical performances and puppet shows are held to educate young people about sexual and reproductive health topics using creative and participatory methods. Conflict resolution. 
Effective conflict management is essential in open relationships, as couples must address unique challenges such as personal boundaries, feelings of exclusion, and concerns about fairness in the relationship. Connection. Between sex and happiness, studies have shown that sexually active individuals tend to report higher levels of life satisfaction and overall happiness, although relationship quality and personal satisfaction also play a significant role. Consent law. Consent is a fundamental principle in sexual relationships. Legally, the lack of consent in a sexual activity is considered sexual assault or rape, highlighting the importance of clear communication and mutual consent in any sexual interaction. Control positions. Some women enjoy positions where they have more control over the pace and depth of penetration, such as reverse cowgirl or modified spooning, allowing them to explore their sexuality more actively. Couple therapy. In cases of anorgasmia affecting the couple's relationship, couple therapy may be beneficial for improving communication, addressing underlying issues, and finding joint solutions. Creating a sensual environment. Carefully preparing the environment for foreplay with soft lighting, gentle music, and seductive scents can help create a sensual atmosphere that stimulates all the senses. Cultural differences in sex education. Cultural differences influence the sex education received by individuals, including messages about sexuality, sexual pleasure, and acceptable sexual practices. Cultural differences in the perception of sexuality. Attitudes towards sexuality vary significantly among different cultures and societies. What may be considered acceptable in one culture may be taboo in another, influencing people's sexual fantasies and practices. Cultural influence. Cultural attitudes towards sex and masculinity can influence the perception of premature ejaculation and men's willingness to seek professional help. Decorative items. Decorative elements inspired by the Kama Sutra, such as figurines, paintings, and sculptures, are popular for those wishing to incorporate sensuality and erotic art into their home. Delayed ejaculation. Some men experience the opposite of premature ejaculation, known as delayed ejaculation, where it takes them a significantly longer time to reach orgasm during sexual activity. In some Scandinavian countries like Denmark, sex education has been introduced in nurseries for young children, aiming to teach them about the body, consent, and gender differences from an early age. Diverse designs. Sex toys come in a wide variety of designs and styles to suit different preferences and needs. From discreet vibrators to realistic dildos, there are options for every taste. Diversity of configurations. There is no one way to have an open relationship. Some couples may choose to have strict rules about who they can have sexual relationships with, while others may allow more freedom and flexibility. Diversity of genitals. The shape and size of genitals can vary widely among different individuals, reflecting the natural diversity of the human body. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,